16,000 Boy Scouts were among the 28,000 in the stadium a week later when Utah was the attraction. Army had been blowing hot and cold since the first two weeks of the season. No wonder Coach Blake wondered what was in the wind this time. Experts said Utah would be a soft touch. It looked that way when Dawkins got away on a 26-yard run, and then Anderson went off the right side for an Army touchdown in the first five minutes of play. But after Army had scored twice, Lee Grosscup of Utah started putting on an aerial circus. Coach Blake described this boy as one of the finest passers he'd ever seen. Now Lee pitched to George Boss, who ran to the Army 22, lateral to Carl Jensen. Jensen ran to Army's one before Borland brought him down. Gross Cup sneaked over and Utah had a touchdown. This short overhand shovel pass followed by the lateral became famous after the game as Jack Curtis's Utah pass. This one's from Gross Cup to Vaughn to Douglas. Good for 20 yards. When Douglas cracked over right tackle for the touchdown, Utah led Army 14 to 13. It was nip and tuck all afternoon before Army won out 39 to 33. This 23-yard pass from Borland to Dawkins was the play that finally made it safe. 